Nate Atkins, kind of a fullback tight end hybrids in the backfield. They pick up the blitz. The ball is out, and the first down catch is made. And that is Travion Kenyon, one of the three tight ends we'll see tonight. Well, this is a good job of being able to read and recognize coverage and get the ball out in front. Not an easy throw on third down. You see late pressure there right into the face, but he doesn't allow it to affect his vision. Look, he's going right over top of McCullough, the safety, and look at the location. Against Vanderbilt. Out of the backfield. That is Bell. Jane Bell rumbling and rolling and will score. South Carolina strikes first on the opening possession. You got a good block right here. This is Bell, a tight end that we talked about, has wide running back skills. See if he extends, and he does. He stays in and gets to that pylon and scores the touch touchdown. There's the progressive pylon cam, and Chris, he gets the touchdown in the opening drive here for South Carolina. Looked like he was selling that, that deep ball, the go ball, and came back. Made a good play. Hooker escapes pressure. They thought they had him. They did not. And the hooker in the secondary. Sprints down to the 30-yard line. Could have been a sack and set a monster play. You playing a lot of man coverage. Nobody there to account for Hooker once they miss the sack. Here comes the fastest tempo in college football. Small break and clear just like that. The Volunteers answer. Can you say lightning strike? 31-yard touchdown, 75 yards in a minute. Thing that he does, he gets him up to the line of scrimmage, gets some great blocks, and look at that move right there to get him into the end zone. Tenth rushing touchdown for Small. Rattler steps up. Another downfield shot. It's caught. Josh Van touchdown, South Carolina. Two possessions, two scores, 60 yards. Well, he, no one's ever going to question Spencer Rattler's arm strength. This time, it's a one-on-one -on -one play, perfectly designed by Marcus Satterfield to set it up. What a close call, just outside of the reach of Slaughter, and it's another touchdown for Rattler and the Gamecocks. It is interesting, Holly. The players you know, came to Clayton White, the defensive coordinator, with that idea, and now they get to Hooker and sack him back at the 30. It was Tonka. Hemingway, a tremendous athlete. Up the play action, Rattler looks downfield and launches, and the catch is made inside the 20 by Jalen Brooks. Another accurate deep ball. Need five on third. Tennessee brings some pressure, but leaves McDowell open, makes a man miss. Touchdown, South Carolina! Are you kidding me? Three for three so far. Get players like Juju McDowell in space. Let him make people miss like that right there and be able to get into the end zone. White is the back. Hooker for the end zone. Jump ball caught. Touchdown. Tillman, welcome back. Cedric Tillman making a huge impact when most figured he wouldn't play tonight. Look, look at the, the slot fade. Gives him plenty of room. Take Brew McCoy to the inside. It takes that defender out of the way. So it's one on one. Give your receiver a chance. Adjust to that back shoulder. Sees the ball. Cam Smith never does. Easy adjustment. Touchdown balls. Sharp play from both quarterbacks tonight. We're breaking a lot of tendencies. Joiner and Wildcat hands it off to Brown on the end around. And he's in the open. Amarian Brown makes a cut down inside the Tennessee 20. Wow. Joiner in the game, two tight ends. Power set. And he just powers in. To carry and Joiner through a pass to Rattler to set up the touchdown. Four possessions, four touchdowns for South Carolina. We got a shootout, full on shootout in Columbia tonight. One on one. Two by two. The receivers. And on the slant, the catch is made by a big Princeton fan. And the tight end is still running a late flag. I mean, he lowers his head. Bang, right there. That's that's a textbook example of targeting. Totally agree with you. He's got Three receivers to the right. Rattler looking that way. Launches downfield. And it's Wells again. Makes the catch. 
in front of turnage. That's an interesting battle that's developing. Put together a masterful plan so far. Rattler, long throw, end zone, caught! Josh Van, second touchdown tonight. Five for five are the Gamecocks. Puts enough air under it to allow Van, who's had a big night tonight, to adjust back. He's got a cushion. And Hooker looked that way, didn't throw it, batted up in the air, deflected, and caught for a touchdown off the carom. So Tennessee, McCoy, after the ball was batted up into the air, yep. says thank you very much. Green got a hand on it and set up the touchdown pass. Here he is right here trying to get into the throwing lane. Watch him drop, drops, he's right there. Oh my gosh. Climbs the ladder to try to at least knock it down. It's a great look at it right here. Oh boy. And then the focus and the finish, the play there by McCoy for the touchdown. Big physical guy at 6'3", 220. He reacted and then just boxed out the defender. Watch him use muscle here. Make sure his body is between the defender and the football. That's big against big, 6'3", 220 in Brew McCoy. And, and Rush is 6'2", 200, big corner. Almost willing to give it because of that cushion. Doesn't want to give up that vertical shot. Pressure picked up, and that shot across the middle. Accurate throw and a catch by Ramel Keaton. First down. But you're right, it has not been the typical deep ball accuracy of a guy many consider the Heisman front runner coming into this game. Down the middle of Princeton, fan touchdown, Tennessee. A bust from the Gamecocks, and the tight end makes him pay. Watch on the back end right here. He's yelling, help, help, I need help over here. And with all that confusion, you end up losing a receiver, in this case a tight end, right down the middle of the field. with Another important sequence as they try to stretch the lead here, stop Tennessee's momentum. Bell, busting loose, big fella, dragging tacklers. And they push the pile down near the three-yard line. That's what you expect from Jaheim Bell as a runner. Play clock at two. Got to hurry. They just get the playoff. And this is Wells on the end around. That's his end. Touchdown. Gamecock stretch the lead. They're just trying to seal this the best that they can. Good job right here. Nice block there by 44. Atkins. Stockner up to the top there as well. Final two minutes of the quarter. Empty backfield. Volunteers rush only four. Rattler has plenty of time. Steps up and delivers over the middle. Wells again. Juice Wells beginning to be the feature man in this attack. Tackled at the 35. Rattler straight back again. That time they bring the heat and they knock him down. That is the first sack for this Volunteers defense. And it was Aaron Beasley getting home. Handler steps up, delivers across the middle. It's Wells and dancing around him. They'll convert on third and 20. No problem. Down to the red zone. Rattler rolls, scans, now cuts back, makes another cut. Flips a touchdown. Bell work free. Rattler found him. And they can really smell an upset now. 75-yard drive, and how fitting for this. No lineman, by the way, downfield. He would not give up on this play until he came up with a touchdown. What a night for the QB. They were embarrassed in Gainesville. They are roaring tonight in Columbia. Joyner keeps it. Makes a cut. Touchdown, South Carolina. This is an historic night for this Gamecock offense. Joyner, he's reading this man who collapses down. Watch him come down right there. Once he commits down, pulls it, gets a good block downfield there by Kenny on and Joe Milton, the former Michigan Wolverine, is in a quarterback, and he slings it across the middle, and the catch is made by a squirrel white wrestled down. Milton, of course, was the day one starter yep. last year. Third and ten. Rattler just flips it. Brooks to the corner. Touchdown! South Carolina punctuates a massive upset and a career night for Spencer Rattler.
touchdown number six. They have exhausted the fireworks supply. Done. Shot everything they had. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.